All right, crew, Adam Hughes here with Go Engineer. Today, we're going to take a look at a couple of the settings that I highly recommend when starting SolidWorks Composer. Maybe you're new to it. Maybe you've done a fresh install, whatever it might be. Maybe just looking for some tips and tricks. Here's some good stuff. All right. The first thing is let's go to file. Let's go to preferences. One of the things I really enjoy uh, editing here is under navigation, you go to your right click and you mark it pan. By default, it's marked none. If you mark it pan, it's a really nice tool to have on your right click. I'll show you what that looks like in this second. The other thing I really like the most too is by default, this is selected under rotate. If you change it to rotate free, it's most closely related to SolidWorks rotate function and the floor won't get in the way. So this is kind of nice too. Um, the last thing here is if you, if you're, you know, if you're forward or in or out or, or forward or backward or up and down, uh, mouse zoom is incorrect, right? If you, if you like it the opposite way, usually you're like, Hey, it's backwards. Here's how you'd fix that. Right. Um, by default, it is synonymous with SolidWorks. And if you want it, not synonymous, synonymous with SolidWorks, then you can go ahead and check that on. Okay, cool. So those are the first things. Let's take a look at what that does for us. Click apply, click. Okay. My right click depressing and holding the right click down. I'm really, I'm a, it's like super easy. Instead of holding the control key or looking for a hot key, right? You just right mouse click and you can easily go ahead and menu, move this thing, manipulate it and get it right in the middle here. Uh, the next thing is your rotate button, your center mouse button. It rotates. And there's no hindrance on, on where, or, or limitation on how you can rotate things. So I like these two options the most. All right, moving on. The next thing I find changing, I find myself helping customers change frequently is going to be under your properties, default document properties. Now keep in mind, you know, these are about the same. It's up for this one's just modifying the current document. This one's modifying all documents from here forward. Right. But, but one of the things that, that uh, most customers really like here is changing the default background on the default background looks something like this, right? Where there's some sort of fade. It's actually a little grayer. Uh, and that's a little cumbersome sometimes. And so we'd like to change that just to the flat white gradient. So how you're going to do that is go to file and then go to properties, default document properties and under viewport background, you're going to see the option for gradient to uncheck it. So it's just the one color, or if you want the gradient to have a different, you know, you want a different gradient color. You can select a new color. So just by unchecking gradient, you're gonna get that one flat white color, making your life a little bit easier. You click apply and click okay. And you'll have that flat white background. Another thing that customers uh, like to customize, uh, for their own templates is not to have the SolidWorks logo, the Dassault logo here at the bottom of the floor and removing that or changing it. It's pretty easy. Um, I find that most often folks just turn off the ground and that solves their issue. But if you want to completely get rid of that, uh, you're going to go to file again, properties, default document, document properties, and under viewport, you're going to see the ground and you're going to see the texture path for the ground, right? Um, this, you can click on this little triple dot here and it would let you browse to a new location or you could just delete this, click apply, click okay. And from here forward, now that, that default Dassault, uh, logo is no longer there while we're on this tab, the viewport tab, these custom views are really nice and, and they're editable, right? So here I have a 30, 30 ortho, a 120, 30 is zero, zero, and then a 45, zero. And, uh, if you want perspective or not, this is where you could turn those on or off, right? Perspective on or off. Uh, but let me show you where these go when they're done. So when you click apply and click, okay, and you go to home and you go to camera, when you click this little drop down, you can see all your custom views now. So I can easily navigate to custom view one, custom view two, custom view three, and then custom view four. Very cool. All right, trekking into a different file here. The next thing I want to show you is publishing your video. So when you go to workshops and you go to video, 
and you're choosing to save out a video, one of the newer tools that we have to publish out as is a MP4. So I can choose to publish out my Power Painter MP4 format as opposed to anything else. Now these other file formats aren't bad. They're just heavier and you have to have the right editing tools to, to work with them. But MP4 is nice and small and condensed and renders pretty fast. So this is gonna be your premier option when you're publishing uh, composer animation videos. Also, you notice that I have this bill of materials that's kind of stuck in the screen here. One of the things that really bothers me about this is like the center is never always the best idea. I mean, I guess you could zoom out and then kind of move this up and kind of put it there and, you know, that looks okay. Um, you know, of course, fixing the background and the ground make things look better, of course. But the reality is, uh, you know, having the bill of materials at the bottom of the page isn't always going to be your default. So let's go ahead and change that here. Under properties, default document properties. If you go to advanced properties and scroll all the way down, you're going to see your bomb table information. So uh, it's going to it's going to have a default height, the default position to the left or default left offset um, position bottom and then call outs and so on. But what we want to change here is the position. So the default position to be free. That way, when we create a bomb, we can just move it around naturally without having to select the bill materials and then modify its position placement of free. So from here now we can just kind of move it and this is how it'll how it'll stay kind of moving forward. So I could easily reposition this and then I could up the text without having to go through and and uh, you know modify each bill of materials on each view. Another thing that's kind of convenient, especially if you work a lot at night, is to change your layout preferences. So if I go to file preferences and I go to general, then I can change the layout from white to light gray to dark, dark gray, and then color. So um, dark gray is kind of nice. It's just a little less strain on the eyes. And uh, and especially if, you work, if you're used to working in SolidWorks in that kind of gray mode, this is rather convenient. All right, and to finish this up, the last thing I want to talk about is our uh, preferences, our profile preferences. We have standard, high quality, high speed, and safe mode. Now, a lot of the times I just suggest customers to go to standard, seeing how this resolves 90% of the issues when it comes down to composer and graphics card related issues. So standard's going to be your bread and bread and butter here. Um, I typically am on the high quality mode. I know I have a GPU that supports it. I know I'm running the correct drivers. There's nothing wrong with the install. Everything's working correctly. But if you do run into some issues with uh, with your graphics card, especially if it's an older one, just go ahead and change this to standard and that'll, that'll probably resolve most of the stuff here. Um, if you have really, uh, really demanding files, high speed and standard are gonna be your, your choices here. And if you're troubleshooting stuff, like if you call our technical support and there were some graphical issues going on, then the safe mode is kind of kind of convenient too. But really, you know, if you're not if you're not running in high quality, um, then standard is just fine. In fact, I can't really tell a whole lot of a difference between standard and high quality. So um, you know, even running in standard doesn't bother me um, at all. Cool. So that's my uh, that's my quick tips on SolidWorks Composer, especially if you're a new installer, new customer. I hope you enjoyed the session, and I hope you enjoy those changes. It should save you a bunch of time. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.